Assalamu alaikum and welcome back to my channel everybody um, Today we're gonna be doing the most like I would say like the second requested video uh, ever requested <laughs> on um, Marriage questions. So today we're gonna do a serious topic um, We're gonna talk about how we met and how we kept it as halal as possible, I guess in all the way leading to like us actually getting married. So I'm gonna start off by talking about um, how we spoke to each other um, in regards to like, was I alone? Was I by myself? Et cetera, et cetera. And I had originally gotten his number from my brother, as you guys know, if you watched my marriage story. Um, it was like, very brief at the beginning like we would talk about um he would go on about basic questions like um how much family members do you have um or do you get along with your mom um do you have any siblings that you're really close to um if you can let me know one thing about you that you dislike let me know that like we just started off going off on those like small questions um remaining keeping it very halal like no perverted questions in that sense if that makes sense and I don't know how else to explain it but yeah he would just literally I, and when we would call one another it would be I would be around somebody so I'd be around my mom I'd be around one of my brothers and um, yeah pretty much it was very basic simple uh, very forward um, um, if you would have to ask if you had to give advice to someone about this certain topic what would you get? Like, how would you approach a woman in that sense? See, this is how she's starting to smart up. This is how she starts getting me, me into the <laughs> video. Okay, so long story short, guys. Me and Jessica were not able to meet face-to-face -face initially when we first started talking. I was living in Turkey, even though I was Canadian. I was just working there. And she was living in Canada. And we got introduced via her brother. Um, I said to myself... I've been wanting to get married. We got married at the age of, uh, what, we were, what, five years? 27, 20, since we were 27, 26, something like that. And uh, I've been wanting to get married ever since 20, maybe 21, 22. I was looking for someone. But just no one ever, ever rose to the occasion. or just nothing really worked out between me and whoever I would attempt to talk to. Because I had a particular way of talking and I was looking for very specific details. Even when I was speaking to her brother in regards to the kind of person I wanted in my life, it wasn't I wanted A, B, C. I wanted A, B, C all the way down to Z. And I said, if they're missing this particular quality, I'm not down for it. So when I got introduced to Jessica, everything that I initially wanted in a woman... I knew in my head. So, did I want my wife to be wearing hijab initially from the beginning? Check. Do I want a woman that wants children? Check. Do I want a woman that's, you know, that speaks a specific language or has a particular mindset? Or, for example, remember when you get married to somebody, you're not just getting married to them, you're inheriting their family as well. Right? Very true, very true. So you start asking questions about her family. Do you have any good relationships? Would you, would you have good for a bad, any bad relationship with your family members? Mm -hmm. If so, who, what, and why? Mm -hmm. Right? Um, and the thing is, realistically, for all the men and the women, the way they, I don't know how you want to comprehend this point, but I made sure never to ask anything that was inappropriate. Because if... I was willing to ask something that it was in, that was inappropriate, then she shouldn't be talking to me. And if she's willing to answer something that was inappropriate, then I shouldn't be talking to her. So I literally just took that particular whole portion out of the equation. I can't even say you can give hints because we didn't. No, no. Right? We even kept it, it very straight. We kept it very straight. Yeah. What I want in life, this is how I want to do it. Are you down for this particular, um, you know... Uh, way of life or not like I'll give you guys a really crazy example so I am um, I used to be a teacher okay and um, Alhamdulillah Allah has allowed me 
to be able to work and live in many countries outside of Canada. And I really got to enjoy it. And inshallah, bi iznillah ta'ala, you know, once this whole COVID thing cools down and some things change, then maybe Allah gives me, grants me that opportunity again. You know what's so funny? When me and her got married, I specifically told her, this is the biggest, this was the biggest deal breaker. It's yes or no. I asked her, hey, Jess, are you cool to move, leave the country entirely, right? Because she lives in Canada. Are you cool to live, you know, in Saudi Arabia, in Turkey, in Egypt, in any country outside? And she said, yes, I'm, I'm open for this, okay? And, you know, honestly, um, alhamdulillah, after we got married, subhanAllah, it just didn't, it, it, it worked in its weird ways. I got a contract with all the nice benefits and the pay that I would want, but the contract didn't fall through. And at that time, now that I know my wife for five years now, alhamdulillah, alhamdulillah, at that time, she was actually kind of worried, even though she agreed to moving, right? Cause, I was worried. I, I, you know, she's moving with, even though, yeah. we only spoke for about a month and a half before I married her, she, right? <laughs> No, but it's the truth. Like you we know, knew what don't, we wanted. time yeah. time doesn't doesn't know. mean nothing. If you know everything, you go into an ice cream shop. You say, I want you know, a cookie cream dough topped with with you know, spark. What is it called? Sprinkles, Sprinkles and all that stuff. And they got it. That's it. You walk in, you walk out. You, you don't just sit them. there for a hundred hours like some of those people. Can I try that ice cream? Can I try that ice cream? Can I try that ice cream? And by the time he tries all the ice cream, the guy is full, so he doesn't even want to buy anything. So he just walks out. You know what I mean? You just wasted your time, that person's time. No, we no want reason. To waste any time. <laughs> we knew we both knew what we wanted. Alhamdulillah. Yeah. So I think the first biggest thing is the fact that you need to know what you want. What kind of person do you want? Do you want the kind of person that's going to be, you know, I get slapped on the wrist by her if, I, you know, if I get lazy for a minute on salah. You know what I mean? Or I'll, you know, she'll spray me with water during fajr, or she'll kick me in the leg, or you know, but it's all for fun. I bother you get what I mean? She bothers me. And I actually love that. Why? Because she's encouraging me to do good. Alhamdulillah. So, alhamdulillah, I don't get bothered. Now, to go back to, the, to, to that point, uh, even though I asked her if she would move with me anywhere in the world, the first contract didn't go through. Mm -hmm. The second contract, I swear to you, there were airplane tickets that were bought. And even though she agreed to going, <laughs> <laughs> okay? <laughs> We had to cancel it. I chickened out. She chickened out. You know, but even though she still didn't back out on her word because eventually we actually did move. We moved to Egypt. I'm and it was the, the, we were actually planning to live there for quite some time. Uh, but just some things didn't work out, unfortunately. And inshallah, may Allah make it that we go back again. So, um, the point is, I know what I wanted. I asked her many things, one of them an example of traveling and living in another, you know, country in the world, and, and it was still part of the equation, it just wasn't part of the beginning of the equation, you get what I mean? And now, alhamdulillah, Jessica now, especially after experiencing a little bit of traveling and, you know, trying, you know, so now, all she, I'm telling you, she's like, I can't stand this cold weathered country. I want to go somewhere warm. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like every single time she's like, we got to go. We got to go now, you know. And by the way, stay tuned. She might be dropping a video about, uh, you know, a trip to somewhere where it's hot. Inshallah. Inshallah. In the future. Uh, in the future. But um, <laughs> just remember, uh, know what you want. Keep it halal. Don't ask a question that you wouldn't uh, want your mother, your sister or your daughter to be asked. Don't uh, don't be in a hurry. I would have said that too. Like our situation, we didn't rush, but we felt like the time was perfect and the time was right. Yeah, I asked all but the yeah, halal. Yeah. Khalas, at this point We're there's nothing human, left. We're all human, right? So, so we don't want to, we didn't want to, <laughs> we didn't, we want everything halal, you know, like 100%, you know, everything. Distance. Imagine the distance we had one another. My brother was like always in between us. He would Yusuf. be like Yusuf. My brother used to be like 
He is the sweetest and human the being. And to the same day that we got married, he was still in between us. And we were looking at him like, bro, we're married now. Like, he was just like, he didn't want anything to go wrong for me. He wanted me to be, wanted everything to go perfect. So, and um, we have two cute little rascals. Alhamdulillah. Alhamdulillah. Allah. Allah. And we're still growing and we're still learning. And a big thing about that is like, if you're going to uh, invest in somebody, don't invest in them to try to change them. Like, don't look for someone you're going to change because that's not going to work for you. Like, you can't form someone the way that you want. You have to work together, if that makes sense. To build together in order for it to be a steady relationship, it has to be like 50-50. You know what I mean? If you want, when you take that person in, whether it's the guy or the girl, they have the qualities that you're looking for. It's not that they... It, it's not the other way around where they were like, oh, okay, well, they're very good looking. It's, you know, eventually I'll, 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 you know, push them towards Salah or eventually I'll push them towards fasting. No, if you want to be uh, a couple that fasts, you know, eh, look for someone who is practicing whatever you want to practice. Because if you find that they're already in that craft, and I'm not saying people don't eventually get to that point, mm -hmm. by all means. We all have different stages in our life where we are who we are and then afterwards 10 years later we're like what the hell was I thinking? And the thing is though maybe in 10 years that person is meant to be you know Mr. Religious or Miss Religious and get married to the most handsomest of men or women whatever the case may be is right? But that's why they always tell you look for someone compatible because you want someone with things that you like. You know what I mean? Because if you like it and they like it, then you guys both like the same situation. It mm -hmm. just makes everything fun, right? The minute you start saying, "Hey, I want to go for ice cream," then she goes and says, "Well, I don't, I don't, you know, like our our, our youngest one. She can't have anything dairy." You get yeah, what I mean? So. so it's like, how you, you know, I, for, I'm not even joking with you, by the way. I love ice cream. Okay, I love it. Ice cream for we me know, is we like We know you crack. love ice cream. <laughs> All right? <laughs> but the thing is, though, could you imagine every single time I wanted to go out, you know, she you know, can't she eat can't eat it. Yeah. Here's another thing. I was never a coffee drinker. You know what I mean? But funny enough, though, with, you know, <laughs> it wasn't forced on me. Yeah. But it was always kind of like, hey, do you want a cup? Do you want a cup? Do you want a cup? I'm having coffee right now. Do you want some? <laughs> That's pretty much every time, every day. I can't without coffee. Right? And now, I actually can't go to work without my cup of coffee. I sh swear to God, I'd go like this. Wake up. Wake up. She'd be like, what? What do you but want? I made your lunch already. The, the coffee, food is done. Okay. Everything is I good. Drink, and then no, I but I want fresh coffee. coffee. Wake up. Make me some coffee, please. I beg of you. Come on. I got to brush my teeth to take care of because I drank too much coffee. So then I'm up. So hence, <laughs> when you're looking for a spouse, always try your best to look for someone that's somewhat compatible you'll never find 100 percent compatibility right nobody's perfect you can't find a perfect you know thing yeah. we have arguments all the time we're human it's normal you know what i mean i can't really answer that question with questions like you know uh you know i don't know what's your last name you know do you want to take my last name no that, that's that's not yeah it, look for the things ask yourself what you want write it down if you need to you know in the quran it says, "Ikra bismi Rabbik al-ladhi khalaq khalaq al-insana min halaq. Ikra wa Rabbuk al-akram al-ladhi alama bil-qalam." The one that teaches you with the pen. So therefore, use a pen. Write down notes. Say, "Hey, listen. I'm looking for hijab. I'm looking for this. I'm, I'm want someone who who doesn't want to travel. I want someone who loves to eat lots of meat. Or I want someone that's a vegetarian. Or I want, you know, etc. Stuff like that. Right? But you can't be going, guys. You can't be going to the girl saying, "Hey, how long your hair?" You can't, you can't, you can't be asked those kind of questions. Okay. That's not yeah, that's just a bit like, you can't, you can't, listen, you can't ask how long is your hair, what color is your hair, what texture is your hair, you know, all this, uh, you know, mumbo jumbo, bro. At the end of the day, you're not marrying her hair, you're marrying her personality, okay? And hair she, can always grow, yeah, exactly. <laughs> or hair can always grow, <laughs> you, know, you don't know, man, yeah, you're right. you know. So, <laughs> Allahu Alam, like, it all depends on who you're looking for, um, yeah, so. I hope, I hope this helps. If you're looking to get married or you're fearful about marriage, um, this is something that happens with everybody. It's natural. We're all going to have to go through these questions. We're all going to have to find ways to work around things. But I would suggest that you keep it in the best 
best way where it's just like halal everything always have someone with you never go alone with the person if you know that you're like obviously a lot of people they tend to I'm sorry I not to say this but like you put your heart into it too much that you actually end up breaking your heart because in the end it doesn't work out or something like that so I would suggest to like keep your heart there but kind of remove it at the same time in that sense okay for the men in regards to the ladies but the ladies I want you to listen to this a guy no matter how macho and brave he's gonna be will never ever ask you inappropriate questions in front of your brother or in front of your father or in front of your mother they, they just can't bingo <laughs> they can't you know you could be the big I'm six foot four 280 pounds he big. I could eat you for lunch. <laughs> they call him a grizzly. You know mm -hmm. what I mean? But no, around <laughs> around family members, I would never, ever, 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 ever open my mouth and say something inappropriate. Because course, yeah. I know they're there for her in regards to her protection. Mm -hmm. Right? And the minute they're going to find there is any form of disrespect, they're going to be like, all right, conversation's cut. That's it. We're out. I got four brothers too. Right? <laughs> So that's 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 one thing, and um, during the process of me and her getting married, I kid you not, I don't know how to tell you, where I prayed salat istikhara so much, you know what I mean? I have alhamdulillah until today I still have the whole thing memorized in my head now, because it's become such a normal thing, because I had to do it so many times <laughs> every day because you're always wondering, you're worried. And you know what's funny? Now that I think about it, like, what the hell was I worried about? You know what about I mean? Being married. It is, it, you unknown. know, to a certain point, there is some stress, stress, stress points. But everybody gets. That's worried. because other people are making it complicated, not because it's an actual complicated. It's a very easy process, mm -hmm. right? So, so that's the was my best friend. No joke. You could ask her. You could ask her brother. Everybody knew it. You know what I mean? The first day they told me that there might be someone for me, before I even got to even know her name, I ran to the masjid. You know what I mean? I'm like, yeah, Allah, this is for me. Make, <laughs> make it happen. You know what I mean? Um, and the second thing is, there's going to be a point, you know, for, for the respectful people. You know what I mean? Allah, uh, protect you and keep oh, you I mean. respectful, inshallah. I mean. um, when you're talking to your possible future spouse, I'm letting you know this right now. There's going to be a moment where it's gonna something's gonna click here, and you're gonna be like, you know something? Yeah, I can see myself with this person for the rest of my life. The minute this is gonna happen, remember me, <laughs> remember me, because there's going to be a little waswasa right here on this side. Hey Amen. You sure? You sure? Like. Yo, this is a big step. You, are you sure you're ready for this? I swear by Allah, man. I remember the day that I was going to propose to her. And I said to myself, you know, so I, yeah, no, this this is the right woman for me. And the, the the minute I said that, it didn't even take 10 seconds. The little bastard came next to me. Hey, 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 you about to take a Hey, that's a leap, man. You about to take the biggest jump. You sure about this? Is this who you really want me to deal with? Oh, I swear to God, I was like, I was a bit of shaitan. you I'm spinning I'm spinning all over <laughs> you know so it, it, the minute you get that idea in your head I'm telling you that little bugger is gonna come right next to you um, if 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 Allah ever allowed us to have little gin slap machines I would have definitely <laughs> bought one to slap the hell out of that one you know out of all the times I've ever been had a little what's what's here that one deserves the biggest slap you know and the minute you get that click here and you get this guy whispering here guess what you a winner. You know why? Because that's the right person for you. Subhanallah. Sorry for my uh, excitement, <laughs> craziness. But you but know, yeah. Jessica's always asking for this, so and you guys always think that I'm Mr. Grumpy Grouchy guy, so I'll, uh, you Everyone get a little bit of excitement. So like his appearance, I guess. They judge him all the time. It sucks, but that's you know, it is what it is. Guys, let me know if you have any more questions in the comment section. Um, feel free to comment. Uh, to us whatever you need inshallah we can reply with a second video if you'd like whatever helps you in any kind of way inshallah Pick, <laughs> don't forget to slap the alright guys alright guys alright guys <laughs>
This is little Jim, you look all the brain. <laughs> little Jim face? Yeah, how many times do you think it happened? Oh, it happened a hundred thousand times. I was brushing the dog. It's all my cool, Rafa, so I better cut you. Sorry. Peace.